With the new CS2 update, Valve removed the ability to bind multiple action commands to one key. This removed the controversial null binds in the newly popular automatic counter-strafe commands. As a side effect, many of your favorite binds no longer work, like the jump throw and W jump throw binds, D subdic and other movement commands like the long jump and crouch jump binds are also gone. At least by scripts and other quality of live binds like radar zoom and instant bomb drop binds still work. Also my beloved knife in right hand, gun in left hand bind still works. The game now also automatically kicks you from the match if you try to circumvent their new rules on a hardware level. This means you can no longer play CS2 on Valve servers with a Razer keyboard that has the snap tap feature enabled. Many of the binds, which are now gone, can be recreated as a macro within your keyboard software. Macros have always been a gray area within the rules, as they can mimic keyboard inputs with millisecond precision, but for the most part they are fine unless they literally control the spray for you. I created this jump throw and W jump throw macro to use post patch. Here are screenshots from the Steel Series and Razer software as an example. The only in-game binds you'll need for this to work are the three commands binding jump and forward actions to the respective keys used in the macro. You can change them to any keys you prefer, but I like those as you can still type normally when using space and the in key, which is where I bound the jump throws to. As you can see, I don't get automatically kicked from this public server. One difference is that you no longer need to hold mouse one before pressing the jump throw bind. Also, if you want to do a right click or left and right click jump throw, you can simply do so manually and the macro won't get in your way. But if you want to, you could also create macros to recreate those kind of binds.